Hey, it's Brett McMahon here, sharing some more information on my road to Ironman. Today I'm going to talk about my morning ritual, um, you know, or just anything that you do consistently. So ultimately my morning ritual always starts with a minimum eight hours sleep. Uh, after years of training and, you know, going up and down through cycles, uh, I've learned that basically I have to have eight hours of sleep. And so my morning ritual can't begin till I get that eight hours. Um, the benefit of being a professional athlete, I can change my schedule and alter it to make sure I get that eight hours sleep. So, you know, if for some reason I'm up extra late, um, you know, who knows the dog's sick or, you know, you got to go and pick somebody up at the airport. Um, you know, I make sure I sleep in, uh, to make sure I get those eight hours. Once I get up in the morning, um, for me, it's about going and getting a coffee. Uh, that's kind of how I start every day. Uh, it's not about necessarily making the coffee. For me, it's about having the coffee and taking the time to think about the day ahead. Um, I have a Seiko Automatico espresso machine. So for me, it's just hitting the button twice to get a double espresso. And then it's just, it's just thinking about the goals that I want to set for the day. It's, you know, okay, if I got a run workout, what are the pace times I want to run? You know, what's the overall mileage I want to do? You know, if I got a second or third workout that day, it's like, okay, well, how do I transition from one workout to the next? You know, when am I going to eat? When am I going to hydrate? All those details, you know, it's planning for the whole day. You know, I start the night before, but ultimately it's the morning when I'm feeling ready and I'm excited and I'm planning that day of workouts and challenging myself. So after I've done my morning ritual of making the coffee, uh, the next thing is making some food. Um, that totally depends on the workouts that I have that day. Uh, if I have a long ride, sort of four or five hours, um, I've got to take some time to really load some calories and have a really good breakfast, prepare all my bottles, you know, all my nutrition. So that takes time. So getting ready for a long ride like that, um, a lot of time I have a run off. So, you know, it takes almost an hour just to get all my bottles, all my nutrition, all my gear ready for doing the workout. And then I actually got to do the workout. So, you know, for a long ride day, basically, I always like to have eggs. Um, so I make a couple of fried eggs or I make an omelet. Um, I like to, you know, throw all sorts of stuff in there, whether it's brie or avocado or leftover bacon. You know, make it interesting, but you know, basically the goal is to get a mix of carbs, protein, and fat. Because when you're out training for five, six hours, you need a lot of nutrition. So for those days, that's what I do. Now, if I have a hard run, that changes what I can eat. Um, you know, when you're doing intervals and stuff like that, you want your stomach to be pretty neutral. You don't want anything acidic and you don't want a lot of fat or that much protein because that's gonna sit in your stomach when you've got that run workout. So for me, on hard run workout mornings, I get up early, I like to eat at least 90 minutes, usually two hours before a hard run. And for me, what works best is just making plain old oatmeal. Um, I add a little bit of maple syrup uh, to sweeten it. Sometimes I throw some raisins in, but I try and keep it just super simple so that my gut doesn't have anything to worry about when I've got the workout to, you know, cause all the stress. On easy days, um, my nutrition, you know, it's, it's more about just eating food. Um, when you're training for an Ironman, you're putting in so many miles, so many hours, you're burning so many calories. It's not really about, you know, knowing, you know, how little calories should I have or watching weight. It's more about just eating as much as I can because typically in an Ironman training block, I'm just constantly losing weight. So for me, it's about putting on weight and eating as many calories as I can. So that's looking for nutrient dense food and, you know, high calorie count. So, you know, eating healthy, lots of fruits and vegetables, and that's what really recovery days are about is, you know, just, just eating lots and eating well and resting and doing all the recovery, you know, things, you know, like taking your, your hydration seriously on recovery days. You know, I get my Norma Tech uh, compression boots to cycle the legs through. Um, I've got amp lotion that I put on to help flush lactic acid. Uh, I do Graston, you know, manual therapy, I roll, there's all sorts of recovery things to do. And you can do all of those yourself and you can do them at home. 
Um, that's the beauty of the uh, internet and uh, shopping online is you can get all these things shipped to your house and you can really take care of care of yourself at home. For more on how I do things on my road to Ironman, go to my Instagram or website.